Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We have been doing a playthrough of this game in its entirety on this channel, but this video and the playlist that this video will be a part of is something very different. Now, deep down, I am a completionist at heart. I love looking at every nook and cranny that a game has to offer and collecting everything that one can find. And with Borderlands, not only is that fun to do, you are rewarded for doing it. The more of the lucky dice we find, the better our luck stat, meaning we get even better gear. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you guys through finding all of the collectibles in the very first zone of the game. That, of course, is the Snoring Valley. Now, lucky for us, there's actually not too much to collect here. If you open your map and then click on this progress tab, you can actually see the challenges and the collectibles that this area has. So 100%ing this will be no problem. And the path here is extremely linear because, of course, this is the tutorial. Okay, so let's start here. On the map, we are about halfway through the zone. This is the wall that had explosives on it that you have to shoot during the tutorial. And this is, of course, before going into the large castle that you see at the end. Inside of this sleepy little village, there are a few collectibles that you do not want to miss. The first of which is a 20-sided die located in this river right here on the left. I'll show you exactly where we are on the map for every collectible that we pick up as well. If you roll a high number on these, apparently you're supposed to get better loot. I haven't really noticed that, but may your loots be, may your rolls be very high. I wish you the best of luck. Also, in this building, just above that 20-sided die, there is a little bit of lore that we can listen to. Come on, Garifax. You're a powerful wizard who has seen 20 sides of the world. You floated like a leaf upon the Wibblesun winds. You spoke the banishing words at Holgren's Pass. Just because you've retired to this anonymous village doesn't mean you've lost your magic. If you can just master this ice spell again, maybe the rest will come back too. The next of the 20-sided die is actually hidden underneath this waterfall just outside of town. And we're also going to get a nice gun chest in here. Ooh, an eight. That could have been better. And again, on the map, we are just right here underneath this waterfall. Next, we're going to be moving into the big castle. And our first collectible is actually right at the entrance. Or should I say... Left. <laughs> this is a poetry page. Glad to see it's safe return. Embers in the hearth, coats laying at the door, wine set for the guests. Poor, poor. There's more poem where that came from. Just talk to the poet in the Bright Hoof Tavern. Well, great. I'll be sure to do that. And once again on the map, the first chamber inside of the castle. But don't think you're out of the clear yet, because as we move into the next room, up at the top is another 20-sided die. This one does make you go a little out of your way to get up to it, but nothing compared to what we'll be doing in later levels. A little parkour never hurt anyone. The more the dice, the better the loot! And once again, right here on the map. Pushing further into the throne room through the gap in the floor that we made. As we land here at the bottom, we're going to turn to our right, and there's some more lore that we can uncover from this scroll. Being a duchess sucks. My servants suck. And prophecies? I spit upon prophecies. Tuh. That was me spitting. Because they suck. For six generations, my family has clung to this stupid prophecy. The Harrows must guard over these lands, lest a great evil rise again. Well, guess what? These lands suck. I'm getting out of here. One last meal, and I'm moving to the capital. Food's not bad, though. I... <coughs> Guards! Bitch! My poison tester! Tell him! He sucks! 
<laughs> the last of the collectibles is inside of this room, and we have to climb up onto the rock here in order to find it. This path very out of the way. I missed this one several times through this zone, but here we have it. The final 20-sided die in the Snoring Valley, and to my knowledge anyway, every collectible has been acquired. Now, those scrolls, I don't know if listening to that lore actually gives you bonus, but they do track collecting those, so I'm going to continue to find them. Hey, if this video was helpful, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. We're going to be taking a look at the next zone, and it's many, 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 many collectibles in the next episode of this series. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.